Devin, talk to us about the press conference. I mean, last time it was a strength and conditioning coach. This time it's a whole family. We've never seen Ryan like this. Uh, is he shook? Like, what's going on here? Uh, something, <clears throat> something wrong with him. Something wrong with him. I don't know what the, what's going on, but that shit is not normal. Yeah, we all know that. Devin, you, you never... You, oh, go ahead. I think it's just like, but I want my credit when it's all said and done because right, it's the work that I put in to get to this point, to get to this stage, the discipline that I, that, 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 that I put in to get here. All the years of hard work. I put my work in during training camp. I did everything I was supposed to do. I was on my diet. I did everything that I was supposed to do this camp to be the best Devin Haney. So when I win, give me my credit. Any concern about the weight? No, I mean, yeah. No. On your side, about yeah, his no, weight? Yeah, no, not uh, on his side. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. He said he's we bet five hundred thousand per pound, and uh, so we'll see if he makes if he makes yeah, the weight. If, if you do win, will you be frustrated if people start to bring up Ryan's antics before the fight and maybe don't give you that credit? Yeah, I mean, because like I said, I worked hard to get to this point, so I would hate to for them to discredit me, but. At the end of the day, they're gonna do what they're gonna. They're Are gonna you say, gonna make it, Devin? Devin, um, what are you talking about? They're gonna say what they're gonna say. They're gonna do, and it, it is what it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the best Devin Haney that I can possibly be. This shit is bigger than Ryan. It's, I'm, I'm chasing greatness. I'm, I'm, I want to be mentioned with the greats when it's all said and done. Ryan is just another opponent. Devin, what did you make? What did you make of the reluctance, I suppose, from, from his dad and the team to, to not want to take the bet from Ryan? From, from Ryan. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know if he didn't want to take the bet or if he just was telling him like. Don't even feed into to what my dad was saying. Yeah, but 2014, in 2014, when you fought Ryan in the amateurs, you did meet him in the center of the ring. You had him yeah. on his back foot. Yeah. Uh, do you feel like you need to remind him that, you know, you were putting pressure on him that he was basically? Yeah. Um, Ryan will see. Ryan will see that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm on a different level. I'm levels above him. And uh, I see it being an early night. I don't see Ryan being able to, to, to go to 412 with me. His antics will, will, will give up on him. It, it, it will show. All this bullshit will show. Are you it planting your... It will come out. There's no secrets in boxing. Are you planting your flag at 140? We see Eddie Hearn right behind you. He's obviously signed Subriel Matias. He's made a big investment. Hitchens and others in the 140-pound division. Are you making a statement about your future at 140 on Saturday night? Of course. 140 is my division. Um, that's the, the that's the division I'm champion at. So of course, you know, I feel like I'm the best at 140, and I, and I want to fight the best fighters at 140. You, 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 you said Ryan is a C-level fighter, but technically Ryan is the best fighter. So what is that? What is about Ryan that made you want to feel like you can just talk to him? I don't know. He shared a ring with him. Um, maybe he fought all C-level fighters. Maybe he's a C plus. <laughs> I mean, I'm mean, mentally strong, you know, I got that tunnel vision, so it's like, it, it, it was what it was, um, whatever it was going to be, I was going, it, it was going to be, like I said, I'm chasing greatness, I want to be, you know, uh, great, so Ryan's just another point on the list. You That's took the a title, thing. you took a title fight to the Bay Area, specifically San Francisco, your last fight, you're bringing back championship boxing to the Barclays here here in New York. Talk about that, champ, um, bringing championship boxing back to Brooklyn. No, I mean, um, this is this is big. This is big for, for me, my family, you know, uh, for, for, for boxing. Um, I'm happy that it's in Brooklyn. You know, a lot of people weren't happy in the beginning. Ryan wasn't happy, but uh, I knew that it would, you know, it, it would be a big moment for boxing. But what better place than media capital of the world? Do you, you feel like you need an obligation to stop him? You had a fiery build up with Regis Program. But how much more personal does this feel? I mean, at the end of the day, it's all business at the end of the day. Um, he can say what he want to say. I can say what I want to say. I'm going to go in there and do what I got to do. He can go in there and do, do, do what he got to do. It's, 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 nothing that he, it's nothing that he can say that can get me off off my game plan. I'm, a, I'm here for a reason. So, uh, it is what it is. He can, outside the ring, I don't fuck with him. No, no, no face Devin, off today. Whose decision was that? The commission. Devin, do you, uh, do you embrace kind of the inevitable comparison that will come from this fight versus what Tank was able to do with Ryan, you know, both in the ring and at the bar? No, I mean, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm my own fighter. At the end of the day, I got my own path. Uh, my journey is my journey. Don't, you guys can make your comparisons all you want. I mean, it, it doesn't matter to me. To piggyback off what you said, you feel like a stoppage is obligated? 
We'll see. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Devin.